Proud to sponsor programming that stimulates children's growth and sense of adventure. Club is in session. Let's play some Chi Chan Su. Can I play? Huh? Huh? Ow! Why'd you bring her? She's not in the club. I didn't bring her. She must have followed me. Well, what's the big deal? Can I play? Can I join the club? We're not taking any new members at this time. What? Oh, come on. There's got to be some way I can join. <laughs> okay. To get in the club, you have to pass a test. You have to keep this up in the air for three hits. No problem. That's easy. No fair. You didn't mention about the stepping stones. Well, if you don't want to be in our club... <laughs> well, I did it! Let's go play! Uh, actually, we can't let you in the club. You're too young. What? That's not fair! I passed the test! Sorry. Club rules. Play a game or go do something? No. Ah. Oh. 
Actually, Shigua, yes. Let's do something better than playing. Let's start a club. A club? That sounds fun. But we need some more members. So, uh, what kind of club are we going to have? Oh, how about a flying club? That would be a pretty small club, Fufu. You're the only one who flies. <laughs> Good point. We could have a collecting club. I like collecting food. And I like eating food. I don't know, guys. I think it should be a club that's exciting and fun. Hey, how about an explorer's club? I like it. I like it. Great. All those in favor of starting an explorer's club say aye. Aye! Okay, right after lunch, we'll have the first meeting of the Explorers Club. Why are you eating so fast? We've got stuff to do. What kind of stuff? Stuff, stuff. been back here before. Great idea to go exploring the wharf, Fufu. Pretty neat, huh? And I know where a boat wreck is. We could go there tomorrow. I hope it's not dark and scary. And I hope it is. I'd love to explore that boat wreck. Sorry. You have to be in the club to go with us. Well, how do you join the club? We're not taking any new members at this time. Oh, come on, please. Well, we could give you a chance to join the club, but you have to pass a test. You have to walk along that railing from one end to the other. That's easy. With your eyes closed. Ha! No problem. So, Dongwa, what happened to you yesterday afternoon? Don't ask. You want to play some more t Jensu? Nah, I'm bored of that game. Well, how about Zomi Chung? Zomi Chung is fun, except you need more players. I'm so bored. Wait, if we need more players, why don't we just let Sagwa into our club? And maybe even Shigwa? Uh, maybe. We could ask them, but they're too busy with their own club. An explorer's club. Yeah? An explorer's club? Wah! Let's join their club! I don't think so. They aren't taking any new members. Huh? No new members? Where'd they get a dumb idea like that? Oh, <laughs> that was our idea. Come on, let's check this out! Look, you can see where the rocks bash through the bottom of the boat. Glad I wasn't on it. <laughs> what was that? <gasps> hey, who's there? Maybe it's a ghost. There's no ghosts around. <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> Explorers Club. You guys look like the Scaredy Cats Club. <laughs> can we join your club? Shoot. Sure. We could all... Nope. Sorry. The Explorers Club is not taking any new members at this time. Oh, yeah? Well, you don't have to be in a club to explore. And I bet we're way better explorers than you guys are anyway. Yeah, right. Like no it. way. Forget that. Well, then, let's have a competition to climb the Waterfall Mountain. First club to climb to the top wins. You're on. We'll get up this mountain way faster than them. You'll all probably be safer with a good climber like Lick Lick in our club. Uh, tell me again why we don't want everyone in our club. Hey, they started this. They wouldn't let anyone in their club first. Dongwa, how much further do you think it is to the top? Hey, Fufu, fly up and see how... Oh, right. 
Spoofu's in the other club. Yahoo! Look, we're ahead of them! Yeah, let's hurry! We're almost there! Look out! Heads up! I don't think there's time to wait for a rope, but I have an idea. Ouch! It's a good idea, but there's not enough of us. Wow! Maybe Fufu should have stayed and given us flying lessons. <laughs> This is bad! Fufu better hurry! I think this ledge might collapse before Fufu gets back! Everyone's sucking their stomachs! Maybe if we look thinner we'll... Uh, never mind. Too bad our chain wasn't long enough to reach you. Too bad we decided to make different clubs. <laughs> Pretty soon there'll be so little room we'll all have to stand on top of each other. <laughs> ah. 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 Okay, Shigua, climb up fast! Ah. Ouch! Ah. Hey! Ah. Ow. Ouch! Okay, Dongwa, you better climb up! Everyone hold tight! Jet Jet, hurry! You too, Lick Lick! Hanan, Wing Wing, hurry! All right, Sogwa. Yeah. Phew, that was close. stuck and everyone's together. I guess we started a new club. You want to join? Huh? A lychee nut? One skipping stone? A piece of broken bamboo? That one's easy. The first one to find all ten things on the list is the club winner today. You got it? Got it! Look at this. A game and exploring all in one club. Of course, you don't stand a chance beating me. These hunt and find games are my favorite. Don't start, Dongwa. Uh, if I were you, I'd let him start. Why, Jet Jet? Everyone else already has. <laughs> Aww, hey, no fair. You know my family. And just about everything in my life begins with them. My family lives in China at a time around 100 years ago. China's a really large country. There are mountains and cities, rivers and deserts. And I live in the countryside in a beautiful palace. But my favorite place to play is outside by the pond where there are plenty of fish. We explore caves, play by the docks and shop in the village market. There's so many people, so many things, so many smells. We don't have to go very far for entertainment. It comes to us. Acrobat and opera troops travel all over China to perform. They even come to our village. <laughs> There's no place like home. What about you? What's your neighborhood like? I like my neighborhood because... Whoa. That's a big building. 
there's a huge area where you rollerblade, and then the next big square of an area, where, yeah, there's a basketball court. Sometimes on my bike, I, I ride around the basketball court. Watch out, pigeons, here I come. And all the guys are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like a tidal wave. Pretend, okay, this is one side of our block. This is the next block. This is a parking lot. This is a parking lot. Here's our house. Now that's a great story. <laughs> there are all sorts of neighborhoods out there. Take a look at this one. This is a cattle station in Australia. The closest town is two hours away. So basically the ranch is their neighborhood. They have to supply their own water and drive a long way just to get their mail. And like all kids, they find ways of having fun. No matter what type of neighborhood, people all over the world live in great places. Oh. What, what about, about you? you? going on? Uh-oh. It looks like an old treasure map. Yes. And look, it's signed by my great ancestor Sun yin Tzu, the poet. This is incredible. I have heard his name before, but I have never seen any of his poetry scrolls. Most of his scrolls were burned in a fire many, many years ago. But it is said that he saved some copies and hid them away for safekeeping. Oh, this is wonderful news. A treasure. Reader, go fetch that English archaeologist who's working in the mountains. He can be our treasure hunter. Right away, your magistrate. Soon the long-lost treasure will be home where it belongs. Thank you, my dear Sagwa. What do you think, Sir Richard? If everything goes according to plan, I think we'll find this amazing treasure trove of poetry within several years. Several years? Unless we get lucky. Oh, oh. Whoa. Oh. Are you all right, Sir Richard? All right. I'm perfect. I just found my good luck kitten. May I take her along? Cats always bring me luck. Of course. Whatever helps you find the scrolls. I don't know if this archaeologist will find your ancestor's poetry scrolls. He seems huh? awfully clumsy. Not to worry. I am sure those scrolls are as good as... Found. So that guy's a professional treasure hunter? Yeah, and I'm going along to watch him in action. Really? Treasure hunting? Sounds exciting. I'm in. Great. Hop on, Shehu. Let's go. Careful, little friends. You don't want to... Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> <laughs> hey, pals! Who's that guy making the big splash? He's Sir Richard, a real live treasure hunter. We're going with him to find some really old poetry. Oh, I love poetry! <clears throat> Lychees are red, kumquats are blue. Kumquats aren't blue? Hey, what do you expect? I'm colorblind. Oh, hey, can I come too? Yeah, sure, but let's go. We have to keep up. According to the map, there should be a cave somewhere near this pass. It's a avalanche! Oh! It's headed towards Sir Richard! I've got to... That was close. You okay, Sagwa? I'm fine, but what happened to Sir Richard? The cave! By George, we found it! You really?
really are my lucky little kitten. Well, onward we go. You heard the man, let's go. Be getting out through this way. This is terrible. We could be stuck in here forever. And it's so dark, it's hard to see. I can see, no problem. Of course you can, you're a cat. And since cats have the best eyesight in the dark, I'll be the one to lead us out. Wait a minute, Sagwa. Bats know caves like the back of their wings. My supersonic hearing will get us out of here. I'll lead. Oh, no, you don't. I'd be the best leader. I'm small and quick, and that's what you need in a cave with lots of teeny spaces to squeeze through. Look, we can just take turns, okay? There's a tunnel, and I say we try it. Fine, you're in charge. For now. Told you I was a good leader. <laughs> Great leading, Sagwa. That's it. My turn now. Time for my ears to get to work. <gasps> uh, sorry about that. There's another cave that way. Follow me. I'll show you who's in charge. Who's the boss here? I know what I'm doing. Whoa. 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 That's it! You two had your chances! I'm gonna be in charge now! Come on! This way! Oh, great, Shehu! Right into a wall! That's no wall! It's a huge boulder! Run! <laughs> Where are we? Cool! I bet these are the scrolls of poetry! Thanks for the good news. The bad news is, there's no way out of here. It's, it's your, your fault. fault. No, it's your... Um, wait. We have to stop bossing each other around. There she goes, trying to take over again. Look, Shehu, maybe we goofed up before, but we were trying to outdo each other. Now I think it's time to help each other. Hey! 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 The echo! I can hear a hole! Up there! Good ears, Fufu! I think I see a hole, but it's tiny. We'll never get through there! We won't, but I will! And then I'll see how to get you guys out! Yeah! 
What do you think, Shay Hu? Uh, can you move any of the rocks? I, I don't think uh, I'm I'm strong enough. I, uh, But which way? All the tunnels look the same. Those two don't seem to go anywhere, but I can see that the middle one goes far. We've got to get that little kitten out! She saved my life! Oh, my poor Sagwa trapped in there. I should have said no. There she is. Oh! My little cat! By George, she's already out! And look, she's found a scroll! There must be more! Where did you find this, my little kitten? Where? I'm proud of you, Sagwa. You did a very good job. No, Mama. We did a good job. My eyes, my size, and my ears! <laughs> An ancient violin! I believe you call it an Ahu. <gasps> Here's one of Sun Yin Tzu's poems. The moon is blue and so are you. Mornings are bright and it's dark at night. Birds are flying backwards. Let's have noodles? Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> Must be an old string. No! Careful with the instrument! <laughs> By George, another close call! Right, little kitten? I'm always on the lookout for ways to have fun. And what could be more fun than entertaining people? These are shadow puppets, a popular way to entertain in China. This art form, where puppets are used to act out stories, has been around for hundreds of years. But these puppets aren't in front of the screen, they're behind it. When light goes through the puppet, it makes a shadow on the screen. Legend says this art started when an emperor's wife died, and he commanded a magician to bring her back to life. The magician carved a puppet to look like the empress and cast her shadow on the wall. And the emperor was never lonely again. What about you? What kind of art do you like to make? I like to do photography. You look for um, a good spot and then you click the camera. I took a picture of a squirrel. I was like telling the squirrel to do different things. I told him to like put his hands up and stand up, and that's what he did. And then I told him to lay down, and he laid down. It was weird. It's exciting to see a picture that you took and then you developed it. <laughs> now that was a great story. People are creating art all over the world, like Alfarria in Mexico. Alfarria means pottery. Often families gather to create all kinds of different pottery. <laughs> Even kids get into the act. You can mold the clay into any shape you want. Oh, like a pig. The clay is put in the sun to dry. And when it's ready, it can be painted beautiful bright colors. It will be the only one of its kind. So, whether it's puppets, photography, or pottery, people all over the world are making and sharing their art. What about you? Bad news? Whatever it is, 
I can handle it. No, I can't. Is it an illness? Floods? <gasps> no, your magistrate. Guests. <gasps> Many guests. <gasps> And a one, <laughs> and a two, <laughs> and a three! <laughs> this is the best! A whole day to do whatever we want! Speaking of which, my turn! One, Sagwa. two, three! Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. Yo! Baba, did you come to play with us? I wish I could. Something has come up, and I'm afraid we need you at home. Unexpected dinner guests are never a problem, your magistrate. And your cousins no less. Let me at least get you some extra help. This is so last minute. My job is to prepare the most delicious dinner tonight. And your job is not to worry. Thank you a thousand times over. I am sure my twenty cousins will be equally grateful. Twenty? Take care of Shigua? Come on, guys. Just because I have a cold doesn't mean we can't have fun to... to... achoo together. Helping each other is what families do. Achoo! Our work for the Magistrate will be done by dinner. Take good care of your little sister. Yes, Baba. <sighs> now what? Now my day is ruined. You're so selfish, Dongwa. My day is ruined, too. But guys, if we do stuff all together, we'll have the, the best time. She's right. Baba said we have to help each other, so... So that's what we'll do. Help each other. I don't like this. All Baba said was we needed to take care of you. He didn't say we had to both do it at the same time. One hour, Sogwa. That's it. Then it's my turn. Don't worry. I'll be back. Have fun, you two. Well, what should we do now? Yeah. Blood. Uh, achoo. But it isn't fun making a sandcastle fast. The finer architectural nuances are totally lost. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't have lots of time. This is the only way I can have any fun. Well, I'm glad someone's having fun. Yo! Go! Pillow fight? No. Spin you in a saucer? Uh-uh. Come on. Help me out. There's got to be something you want to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. A story. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> a story, a story. That's what Mama always does when I'm, I'm too sick. Please. Oh, I'm not good at this. I can't remember any good ones. Then make one up. It should be exciting and dangerous. And I'm the hero. Okay, okay. Here goes. Shigwa the hero. Hmm. There once was a great hero named Shigwa. Uh, but where am I? You have to describe a place. Okay. A hero named Shigwa who lived in the foolish magistrate's <gasps> study. Come on, Dongwa. Make it more fun than that. Fine. Uh, she lived in a pagoda at the top of a big mountain. Oh. Ooh, this is better. It was a beautiful day. No, a stormy night. And Shigwa was the greatest hero ever in the history of the world. The end. Hey, that's not the end. And Shigo was worried because her big sister was about to be captured. Me? Why me? 
Because you had better things to do than to stay here with me. Ooh, this is getting good. Um, just then, a ah, raven, ah, ah, a huge ah, raven, ah, swooped into the pagoda, grabbed the sister, and flew off into the night. Ah! happens next? Well, the bird flies far away to an island. <coughs> yeah, a remote island in the middle of the sea. So many cousins. Feng Yao, his sister Mei Wan. <laughs> mm. Cook is working his magic again. <gasps> it's burning! Twenty guests. I. What am I to do? Hmm. <laughs> help! Help! The sand crabs are nibbling on my paws, and there's no one to play with. Eek! A spider! <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> What's going on? You're trapped on an island. Uh, it's just a story we made up. Shigua the hero. Well, enjoy your island. See ya. Hmm. That was actually kind of fun. Oh, well. So, I'm stuck on an island, huh? Yup. You're trapped. And it's a really creepy place. Creepy? Hmm. How creepy? Real creepy. <laughs> How's this? The island grew quiet. Too quiet. Suddenly... <laughs> Who was it? It was me, the evil one-eyed sea turtle who has made Sagwa my prisoner. Sagwa, too. He should be all tied up by a huge spider. Uh, got it, Dongwa, too. Hey, spider! <laughs> it's I am both <laughs> The bok choy. <gasps> no, my fish. Wait. Oh. oh, I need help. We know. Now, no more being stubborn. I went to the village and picked up some fresh ingredients. We are all going to pitch in. After all, they are my cousins who are showing up so suddenly. But your magistrate, I feel ashamed. I am the cook. You still will be my friend. We will help prepare the food. You will cook it. Hey, guys. Wouldn't it be great if a huge bird flew down and carried one of us to some deserted island and we had to escape and stuff? Oh, <laughs> never mind. I gotta go. Oh, well, so much for my big day with Sagwa. Hey, where's Dongwa going in such a rush? Phew. Dongwa and Sagwa were trapped, and Shigwa knew she had to save them. So she flew across the sea. She got eaten by a whale on the way! Who decided he really wasn't very hungry? Whoa! A whale? That's great! Dongwa? What are you doing back? I couldn't get the story out of my mind. Story? What story? Yay! Everyone's here! Now the story will get better and better! What do you mean, better? The more of us, the more to add fun stuff to it. <laughs> I'm just glad you're both here together. 
Now it's going to be twice as good. We did kind of run out on you, huh? Yes, you did. But that's okay. You're about to be eaten by a really mean octopus. And then Sogwa is going to get stuck in quicksand. Hey! Come on, let's get back to that story. I think you need some bats. <laughs> yes, bats! Foo foo to the rescue! This is my best sick day ever! You're still a kitten. But I want to stay up. No buts, Dongwa. Someday, someday soon. Maybe even next summer. Just not tonight. Oh. You're going out so late? Yes, to see the fireflies. You know, for the next few nights. Yes, of course. It is that time of the year, isn't it? Why don't you come with me, my dear? The fireflies are so beautiful. Yes, they are. I remember when you first showed me. Mm. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Baba! What are you doing out here? I, um, I want to go with you. I want to see the fireflies. But Dongwa, you're too young to be out this late at night. That's what everyone says. But it's not true. I'm almost grown up. It is true. You're not as little as you used to be. Yep, I'm growing up, that's for sure. Yes, but you're still too young. Hmm. When you're a little older, you can see the fireflies. 
It's a wonderful part of growing up. When you finally see the fireflies, well, it'll be like a rite of passage. Rite of passage? What's that? Well, let's see. There are just certain things in life, wonderful things, that come with growing up. It's like a journey. The further you go, the more you see. You, my son, you are just starting out on your journey. You're just a little kitten now. But as you grow older, the things you'll see. But just not tonight. Now, to bed with you. Tomorrow, I'll show Baba that I'm grown up. You have a bigger appetite than your father. It's good to see everyone practicing. I can't do it. My tail's too short. It's easy. Look. Calm down. <laughs> well, it looks like somebody's growing up. Excellent work, Dongwa. <laughs> okay, kittens, bedtime. Dongwa? I can do it myself. So, Papa, can I see the fireflies tonight? Didn't we talk about this last night? I know, but today I proved I was a grown-up cat. I don't know. I can eat and write and walk and get myself ready for bed, just like a grown-up cat. Even the magistrate and cook said so. Very well. If you really want to see the fireflies. But I have to make sure you're really grown up. Wah! I mean, yes. Thank you, Papa. So, we'll go tonight? Not tonight. First, you must understand that being a cat means more than staying up late. The fireflies will be here for another night or two. If you can show me you're truly grown up, I will take you. I won't let you down, Bubba. I can do it. I know I can. But being grown up comes with many other responsibilities. I understand. I do. I really do. All right. We'll start in the morning. <laughs> Wake up, Dongwa. Time for Tai Chi. What? It's still dark. When you're a cat, you have to start the day very early. a snack and then clean up this mess. What are you talking about? You can't tell us what to do. Yes, I can because I'm a cat and you're a kitten. Now go on. No way! Mama, Dongla told us... I heard everything from the kitchen. Go on, girls. Please get the snacks. But... And while you're gone, Dongwa can clean up this mess. <gasps> but it's not my mess. Grown-up cats clean up after kittens all the time. Take it from me. I should know. <laughs> time for bed. I can't wait. Everybody but Dongwa. <laughs> Are you ready? We must go night fishing. You'll like it. It's very difficult. Very challenging. Difficult? Challenging? Yes, very. And time-consuming. It could take all night, but it's well worth the effort. All night? Ready? Yes, Bubba, I'm ready. Let's go. I can stay up just like a grown-up. 
I just keep thinking of those fireflies I'm going to get to see. Yes, son. I know you do. So, here we go. On our way. On our way. I'm right behind you. <sighs> Baba and Dongwa, fearless fighters prowling the night. Come on, Dongwa. We don't have time to play. We'll be late. Show's about to start. What show? I thought we were going fishing. Shh. I have a surprise for you. What is it? Wow! Fireflies! Hmm. hmm. Yes, my son. You've earned this. You may not yet be grown up, but you worked so very hard. Together? Yes, son. Was it worth all the hard work? Oh, yes, Baba. It was worth it all. Can we see more? <laughs> no, my son. I'm afraid they're finished for the night. Finished for the summer, actually. Come now. We have a long journey home. Ooh, tonight was great. Good night, son. I'm proud of you. So, I guess we have Tai Chi at sunrise, huh? Yes. Would you like me to wake you? Well, uh, not really. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure I'm ready to be a grown-up yet. You know, I think you're right. You'll be a grown-up someday, but for right now, being a kitten is just what you should be. Get your sleep, and tomorrow, have fun with your sisters. That sounds great. But don't forget the fireflies. on the lookout for ways to have fun, as is my brother. I have to practice my Tai Chi for the martial arts demonstration. Martial arts are a means of self-defense, and Tai Chi is one of many. But Tai Chi is not just about self-defense. Many think of it as a form of health, fitness, and art, and some describe it as meditation in motion. The movements are slow and graceful. They're based on the way animals move. Tai Chi is exercise for the mind and the body. What about you? Do you know a martial art? I like doing karate because my friend Max is there and Isabella is there and a lot of my friends do it. And it's just good exercise and it feels good. We do stretches, we do kicks, we do punches, we get all kinds of stuff. This is one that we do. It's like a block and then a punch. Sometimes it's good for defense. There's also katas, which is like different moves put together in one. And there's one called helicopter, where she stands in the middle, she swings the rope around and around, and you have to jump over it. If you touch your feet, you're out. It's very fun. I love to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that was a great story. Martial arts teaches us new ways to move. Ooh, look at that guy go. 
This is capoeira, an African-Brazilian martial art. It looks like a combination of gymnastics, acrobatics, and breakdancing. African slaves in Brazil created this art 400 years ago. Today, it's getting more and more popular all over the world. Brazil has declared it a national sport. It's a dance, a sport, a game, and a martial art, full of culture and tradition, all rolled into one. So, whether it's Tai Chi, Karate, or Capoeira, people all over the world like sweating it out in martial art. Whoa! Oh. What about you? <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, my mistake. Fufu, you're looking a bit off. You sure you're ready to lead this month's full moon flight? <laughs> I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I don't know, Fufu. You don't look so good. Eh, uh, what do you mean? Hey, uh, what are you doing? It looks like you lost your, uh, your centrifugal bat locator. Centrifugal uh, uh, bat, what? You know, Fufu, your centrifugal bat locator. You never heard of it? Uh, I guess not. But whatever it is, if I lost it, I better go look for it. I remember one bat who had the same problem. His sonar went wacko, and he couldn't even sleep upside down anymore. Anyway, see you later, Fufu. Oops, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, no. Not my centrifugal bat locator. He'll believe anything. <laughs> you just can't seem to find a good hiding place. Everybody can come out. Sog was it again. Sogwa, you're making it too easy. Yeah, your ink-faced sister can't find a good hiding spot to save her nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how could I have lost my... whatever it is. A little more. Almost home. Uh, 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 uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, where are you guys going? <laughs> Looks like you're still having trouble with your centrifugal bat locator. You better try and get it fixed before the big night. You don't want to lead the whole flock into the side of a mountain. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh no! Oh. What am I gonna do? I'm leading a flight in a few nights and I can't even fly straight. <sighs> You sure look like you've got everything under control. Control comes easy to a peaceful mind. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know anything about a centrifugal bat locator, would you? A bat who wants to locate himself need only look at his reflection, and there you will be. Yeah, sure. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, I have this problem. I can't seem to fly right. Some other bat said I might have lost my centrifugal bat locator. Hmm. Centrifugal bat locator? Hmm. Well, I once knew a bat with a similar problem. You did? Oh, please, you gotta help me. Patience, my friend. What is your name? Uh, Fufu? I am Master Wu Fu. Meet me tomorrow at dusk on the pagoda. There, we will begin to fix your problem. Oh. 22, 23, 24. Ha! You'll never find me here. 29, 30. Ready or not, here I come. Hmm. I wonder where Sogwood could be. Again? So, we're gonna do 
hear some flying, huh? Ah. Yes. Tonight we fly. In the mind. Uh huh. Without inner peace, a bat cannot fly. Breathe in. <coughs> Breathe out. <coughs> Today, no one's gonna find me. <laughs> Good one. Face it, you stink at this game. Oh, yeah? Well, I've got a new plan. Okay, so today we fly! Yes, today we fly. On the ground. Huh? Now we will work on balance. Without perfect balance, a bat is lost, like a leaf in the wind. But <laughs> my balance is great! See? <laughs> There's no way Wing Wing is gonna find me this time. Did I hear somebody say my name? Hey, it's the easiest to find cat in the world. Sogwa. <laughs> <laughs> You must relearn how to use your sonar. It is time for your ears to be your eyes. Let yourself go. Hear where you are. Sometimes there are obstacles in a bat's path. So, tomorrow we fly, for real. No breathing, no blindfolds, nothing? Yes, tomorrow we fly, for real. We meet at sunrise. There goes that foo-foo. Make way, everybody! Foo-foo's coming through. You never know when you lose control. <laughs> You appear to be a little shaken, Fufu. Are you sure I'm ready for the next step? If you are not ready, you would not be here. Now, let's start with a basic loop. It is a good wing stretcher. Believe in yourself. You can do it. That is a good start. Remember to always relax through your turn. Imagine where you want to be, and you will get there. Woohoo! Woohoo! Wow! Do you think I'll ever be able to do that? Of course. Today, you flew with grace and skill. Our lessons are now done. So, my centrifugal bat locator is all fixed? <sighs> there is no centrifugal bat locator. I think somebody was playing a joke on you. Really? Then what was wrong with me? You lost faith in yourself. And that's why I couldn't fly well? A bat needs confidence to fly. Remember that you are as much a bat as the next. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. The moon will soon be rising. Go, prepare to lead your flight. I'll just get a head start on finding a perfect hiding place for tomorrow. Breathe in. <gasps> Breathe out. <sighs> Hey, Fufu! Did you fix your centrifugal bat locator yet? Yeah! We don't want you getting us lost tonight. Then you'd better stay on my tail. Yeah, right! <laughs> Uh-oh. Huge mistake! Help! Help! I know that 
voice. Uh, uh, um, sorry, I can't <laughs> leave you guys right now. You're on your own. I knew he couldn't handle it. <laughs> Help! Someone! Let yourself go. Just in time. Thanks, Foo Foo. That was so scary. Think nothing of it. What are friends for? So, what were you doing up there anyway? The alley cats and Dongwa kept making fun of me. I figured I'd show them. Show them how good you are? A wise friend once told me, remember, you are as much a cat as the next. Except, of course, for me, it was bad. What's that mean? It means you're great, no matter what others say or think. You think so? <laughs> Trust me on this one. Anyway, I should get going. I've got a full moon flight to lead. Jai Jin, my friend! Where did you go? I thought you were ready to lead the flight. Sorry, I had to help my best friend first. <sighs> a wise choice. There is a full moon every month. But a best friend is very rare. It sure is. Hey, that reminds me. Who was that other bat with the, uh, <clears throat> centrifugal bat locator problem? You're looking at him. Hmm. Now go. The flight is yours to lead. are a big part of our world. I guess I'm just one among many. In China, one animal people think is lucky is the bat. Good luck. Luck, luck, luck. Luck's my name. It's true. In China, bats became popular because foo, the sound for bat, is the same sound for the word lucky. So often, clothing and furniture are decorated with pictures of bats. A lot of people elsewhere think bats are scary, but the truth is bats are smart and clean and they're the only mammal that can fly. Most importantly, bats help our environment. They help pollinate fruits and flowers. So I guess bats really are lucky. What about you? Has an animal ever brought you luck? I think crickets are lucky. I was driving to the country. On the first day, I was walking out with my grandpa. I heard a chirp from the cricket. When I was running after it, I saw this, like, it's kind of like a family of a newt, but it's a salamander. I saw the salamander hiding in the grass and the little cricket jumping up and down on its back. <laughs> well, I was wishing um, that my, my grandma would make me pancakes and then... The next morning, my grandma called out, who wants pancakes, and I knew, and then I got the luck that I wanted. Now that's a great story. There's a lot of luck out there. Guess what they think is lucky in Japan? Frogs! How about that? In Japan, frogs are especially popular around New Year's. Some believe these little guys can bring money, change bad luck into good luck, and prevent accidents. And by the way, you absolutely do not get warts from a frog, so kiss away. So, whether it's a bat, a cricket, or a frog, people all over the world think animals can bring them luck. What about you? Good morning, Shehu. Good morning to you, too. What's going on around here? What's with all the boxes? Palace cleanup. Magistrate declared no more clutter. 
So, uh, where'd you go last night, huh? Well, you can't tell anyone, but I've been going to... I'd have to say it's the most fun place in the world! Wah! Can I come see it? Mm, can you keep a secret? <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> nice find, Dongwa. Great for rocks and junk and stuff. Wow! Can I try it on? Please? I don't know, Sagwa. I'm really taking a risk bringing you. There it is. But you can only take a peek. Then you have to go. Sagwa. It's okay, everybody! This is Sagwa, a cat you can trust! Hi, Sagwa! Thanks for catching me! See ya! Well, any friend of Cousin Shehu's is a friend of ours. I'm Ming Mouse, and this is our hidden village. Welcome, Sagwa. <laughs> <laughs> Great place! I can't wait to tell Fufu. No, 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 Sagwa. Huh? You can't tell anyone. But it's so fun! The little houses, the walk pond, the... Listen, you like mice, but not everyone else does. If word got out about Mouse Village, it could mean big trouble for our community. That's why it's our secret, okay? Promise? But... Okay, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> More great stuff! I bet the mice could use... What mice? Um, uh, nothing. Oh, forget it. Okay. Fine, I'll tell you. I have to tell someone. You can keep a secret, can't you, Shigwa? Mm-hmm. And you promise you won't tell, right? Mm-mm. What are you smiling about? I can't tell you. It's a secret. A secret, huh? Hmm. Will you tell me if I let you wear the satchel <gasps> for a week? Deal! Lost your bag, Dongwa? <laughs> 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 no, I traded it for something better. Oh, yeah? What's that? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Secret, huh? Oh, I really shouldn't do this. But I just have to see it one more time. anywhere uh-huh I'm coming with you I think she went that way okay I'll just 
just take a quick peek. We both know you have a horrible sense of direction. It's this oh. way. I can't believe you guys followed me. Shigua, I told you it was a secret. I know, but we just want to see the mouse village. Aha! What are you doing here? You promised. Shehu! But I, I just told Shigua. And I only told Dongwa. Well, I didn't tell anyone. At least someone has good cat sense around here. Well, since we're all here now, it couldn't hurt just to take a peek. No! It's way too dangerous to our village. I'm really sorry, Shehu. Come on, guys. Let's go back before someone sees us. You can't keep secrets from the alley cats. else, so everything's fine, right? Hmm. Go get your brother and sister. I have something to show you. This is the mouse village? It's not as fun as I thought. It was. The alley cats dropped by. Everyone panicked. Oh, what a mess. A huge mess. And it's all our fault. And now my cousins have no place to live while we rebuild. Where am I going to sleep, Uncle Shehu? Well, this is it. I know it's not much, but you can live here until your village is repaired. We'll take care of all your needs at the palace. And help with your construction. With the palace clean up, there's lots of great building materials in the yard. That will save us lots of time. Thank you. It's a good thing the village will be ready tomorrow. I'm exhausted. Ugh, breaking promises is sure hard work. Wake up! Wake up! What? 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 Cook is on his way to finish cleaning. He's going to the clubhouse. Oh no, the mice! Quickly, everyone! We have to go now! We can't go that way! Cook's on his way! Follow me! That's a big drop! I hope you didn't think we could fly! Uh... I have an idea! Everybody to the back! Whoa! That way! To the balcony door! We can't go that way! The magistrate's coming! Oh! Hurry, everyone! We can't go any faster! Uh, um... Oh! I have an idea! Jump in! <laughs> You'll have to jump to the ground! It's not that far! No! Look! I can't hold on much longer! And there's no time! Rita's coming to clean the roof! Um! Um! Jump! Oh, no! Look, I know I'm not supposed to be in the palace, but I feel horrible about what happened. I just had to help somehow. Phew! That was the hardest week of my life. 
But you did a fine job, and your new cat-proof entrance is ingenious! Wait! Where's Baby Mouse? I can't find her! I'm right here! Well, Sogwa, I've got to hand it to you. You may have a big mouth, but you sure made up for it. Would you like to take a peek at the new village? Nah, I'd better not. In fact, we made a housewarming present. No cats allowed! Brilliant! Just good. It's great! 